And of course I see we've got a motor here, so I'm assuming that is uh, motorized up and down. This is the, it's called a tarp motor. Uh, you know, everybody's familiar with the gravel trucks that go down the road that drop rocks that chip your windshield. Well, those tarps that go back over them, they have these little motors and that's what they do. They move the tarp automatically and that's what's called a tarp motor. And it come, the motor comes with the gearbox. All right, everybody, I'm standing here with John. Say hi, John. Hey, how you doing? And this is his beautiful 7x16 uh, cargo trailer conversion. Uh, where are we at right now, John? We are in Greenville Recreation Area. Yeah? Missouri. Yeah. And we're here for the... Rendezvous. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. The 2024 Tiny House Adventures Rendezvous, which is being held June the 10th through the through June the 14th. 14th. Yeah. And are you enjoying yourself so far, John? Oh, yeah, yeah, having a good time. Fabulous, yeah. fabulous. This is a beautiful I, park. Oh, isn't it a beautiful park? Very nice. And this whole area is beautiful around here as well. Uh, are you going to come play Campground Bingo tonight? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, love it. I was at the last one in Pickensville. Uh-huh. That, that was a fun game. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, let's talk about your trailer here. Uh, how long have you had this trailer? Uh, about three years. About three years. Yeah. Well, it looks brand spanking new. Well, I try, I try to keep it up. I do keep it under a shelter at the house, so yeah. it stays out of the elements pretty much. But. So we'll start first. Let me do this right quick so that they can see. But you've got uh, some solar going on up there. How, how much solar do you have up there, John? About 1,400 watts. Yeah? 1,400 watts. That's a lot. That's a lot for sure. I wanted to make sure I had enough to run my mini split. I, <laughs> you I got plenty of sun. You got plenty to do that, that's yeah, for sure, with that, that amount. And uh, now this trailer, like we said, it's a 7x16. And what's the ceiling height on it? 7 foot. 7, seven foot. foot. All right. And we did a little quick walk around a minute ago, but there's one thing that I didn't ask about. What is this right here? It's just a, a 110 outlet. Oh, really? So I, okay. Because I, I need to use the power tool or yeah. the radio or charging my bike or whatnot. I got it right there. Well, I haven't seen them like that before. That'd be real easy to install one like that. Yes, it is. Yeah, for sure. Good. Absolutely. All right. Why don't we walk around over here and just kind of talk about the few little features here. And of course. Uh, got the uh, Senville Mini Split, which has uh, done a good job for me. It keeps everything nice and cool. And right now it's on the, the dry mode. It's only pulling about 300 watts. Uh, if I had it on battery power, it's only running about 300 watts right now, so it's... Right. Those things are very efficient, and this is the... 9,000 9,000 BTU. BTU version of it, yeah. Oh, I just now noticed your, uh, your tongue lock here. Yes. That'd be a hard one to defeat. That's the only one that's really worth a dang, but of course they can put chains underneath here and tow it off somewhere, so... Yeah. I mean, you're not going to keep every all of these. Oh, yeah. If someone really, really wants it bad enough, they're going to figure out a way. Yeah, yeah that's for sure. All right, why don't we step on around over here? I've got the 40 gallons of fresh water and 20 gallons of gray water. I don't have any black water tanks. And I have a 30 amp hookup and your typical RV, you no know, water hookups there. Right. And this is where your gray water drains back out, right here. C correct. Okay. And I and I uh, make sure I have that closed <laughs> <laughs> before I mess with it. Yeah. For those for those of you that uh, don't know why he he mentioned that, um, you know, went out of his way to mention that was there was a story told last night about someone who forgot to close their gate valves, and when they popped the cap off at the dump station, here it comes. So anyway, that's uh, that's the deal on that. Uh, I, emergency exit window. I definitely wanted to have one of those. Two handles, pops open, climb right out. Did you install that yourself? I, I installed everything. Did you really? Yeah, windows. Okay. Uh, I did everything. Fabulous. Fabulous. All right. Oh, before we go, though, let's talk about your axles here. Because you mentioned something about that. Maybe we should discuss that right quick. Yeah, typically, you know, these cargo trailers come with the four-inch drop axles. Uh, but if you're going to be any, doing any boondocking and getting off on a kind of a rough road, you need to, you need more height. So I ended up uh, putting a, a lift on it, which wasn't too much trouble to do that. But if I had to do it all over again, if I would have got the straight axles to begin with, it would have been better yeah. to start with. So that's something to think about if you're going to buy a trailer. 
Well, the lift kit definitely gives you uh, that needed extra clearance, that's for sure. That's definitely yeah, correct. Yeah. And it's just so nice and easy to work with. And, and you find in some, there's some campsites you'll go to that are leaning real bad one way or the other. And, and uh, that extra height will definitely help there. Yeah. All right, let me get over here. That trailer did come with all LED lights on it. I was happy about that. Oh, yeah. And then you've got, uh, let's talk about what you got going on up here on the top. I've got two floodlights there, so if I'm backing up or get someplace in this dark and I need to set up, I got plenty of lighting back there. And also in the middle there, there's a wireless camera. So I can, uh, if I'm by myself and I'm backing up, I got view or when I'm traveling down the highway, I can see all the cars behind me. It's uh, helpful. And you even have another one of those cameras inside as well, you were talking yes, about. Yes, the kit came with two cameras and the other one is mounted inside so I can watch my motorcycles as I'm going down the road. There you go. That's I never had thought about that, but that's a, that's a great idea. Because I've yeah. had them fall over before. And then yeah. I stopped and looked and I said, oh my gosh, my motorcycle fell over. So. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want that to happen. No, or when no. it does happen, we want to be able to stop and fix it right quick. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Um, I'll tell you what, do you mind just going ahead and popping the back door here? Because we're going to step inside. This will give us a little bit more light. I've got it locked on the inside. Let me run in there and okay. lock it real quick. I'll be right here. Oh, wow. Wow. Let me step on up over here. We'll get a good shot from behind here right quick. All right. Now I'm assuming that these move forward uh, for your for your bikes. Yes, this system right here, I have two heavy duty uh, uh, clamps in the floor. And there's some bolts that go through here and just by hand you tighten it down so it just takes about 90 seconds to put that in place and then your motorcycle goes up and goes into the chalk and then you have your tie downs uh -huh. so it's a real good system and then when i get to where i'm going i just move it out of the way then where did you get this system at there you okay, go there we go sorry just about that that's okay that'll that'll help a whole bunch too so that's what you look for everybody and the, the, when you're the, searching for that these all adjust so you can put you know I, I can put two motorcycles side by side and I can put a smaller one pointing the other way really right, back it in first all right so you can put quite a few motorcycles in yeah there. absolutely and of course I see we've got a motor here so I'm assuming that is uh, motorized up and down this is the it's called a tarp motor uh, you know everybody's familiar with the gravel trucks that go down the road that drop rocks that chip your windshield well those tarps that go back over them they have these little motors and that's what they do. They move the tarp automatically and that's what's called a tarp motor. And it comes, the motor comes with the gearbox. So hmm. you can find them on eBay. And then it's just attached to a shaft and you Yeah, let me show them how this, uh, be able to get a better shot from under here, but it's attached to a shaft. And uh, I'm assuming when you flip the motor on it, it uh, starts to loosen. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and just back. drop it a couple yeah. inches. That's, oh yeah, and you can see that spinning right there. See, and wow. all it is is four, four cargo straps is all it is. Okay. And then when you turn the motor the other way, all it does is wind up the strap. Wind it back up. And just pulls the bed up to the top. Well, do you know how much weight that will handle? Have, have you seen any specs on that? Uh, I'm not sure. You, you can get those tarp motors. They, they put out, a, the, the, they're gear driven. It's a, a so it, it'll, it'll do a lot. Okay. When I first built it, I put the grandkids on it and it lifted it up. Really? And then you just put these locks oh. and drop the bed on it. So actually the bed, when it's being used, is being supported by these. these there blocks. you go. And then these are the tracks right here that it actually rolls on on the outside. But then you've got the, what do they call that, E-track? This is just standard vertical E-track from okay. Harbor Freight. Yeah. But the tracks that the wheels go in, that's just a uh, shelving track that you okay. buy at Lowe's. Wow. And the wheels are three inch um, garage door wheels. Okay. You have to use the three inch. You can't use the standard two okay. inch. So, so you bought that stuff extra and then and, and made it all work with your bed. How big is your bed? It's a queen size. It's a queen. Yeah. All right. All right. With the lawnmower coming up here, I'm going to step around to the front. Okay. Come in the other way. All right. Be right back. What's, what's nice about this is during the day, you raise the bed all the way to the ceiling and then you can put your chairs over here. If it's a rainy day, you have plenty of room in here to move around. But uh, when it's time time for a nap or 
dead time, it, I just lower it down to a lower position. I really like that. And I especially like the way you're utilizing the vertical e track as, as stops. As stops, you know, right. To support it. That is really neat. Now, did you build the bed frame as well? Yes, the bed frame is, this is just two by three lumber with a lot of sanding to get it nice and smooth. Uh -huh. But then the rest of the frame is all one inch tubular steel that I welded up. I made see. a uh, lattice type uh, structure, you know, to, so it holds all the weight. So, uh, before we move towards the front of the trailer here, let's talk about, did you do any insulation in the walls and ceiling and stuff? Yes, my first job when I got the trailer was I stripped the walls and I stripped the floor out because I had to do welding to weld up tabs and whatnot to mount the, the water tanks. And then so I put the floor back on and then in the, in the walls and in the ceiling there's one and three quarter inch of uh, blue foam. Okay. Hard blue foam insulation and then I put the walls back up. And then the same in the ceiling, one and three quarter inch foam, and then I put the tongue in groove. Okay. And uh, yeah. the, these straps are, I've got welded pins that come out from the frame, and these, there's a hole in the back of these, uh, and it just fits right on it, with an, and I've got a nut on there. Right. So they're. And those are the straps that wind around the shaft yes. that raises that up and down. And these and are just regular. Uh, Yes, yeah. Rhino straps is uh -huh. the brand I got. That's yeah. all it is. It's simple. Mm -hmm. Four straps and a and a motor. Okay. And that's it. All right. And I see you've got your portable fridge right here. Yeah. Got my 12, 12 volt ice cove. Love it. Yeah. I've seen that brand a lot here recently. And what kind of flooring do you have down here? This was, well, uh, Ollie's had a, they bought out, you know, some manufacturer and it's 100% uh, waterproof vinyl flooring. Okay. And so I, I went ahead and put that in. It's not glued. It's not fastened down in any way. It was just it just all clicks together. And then the uh, the molding on the edges actually right. hold the edges. There you so go. So it's, it's been there for about two years, and okay. uh, I haven't had any issues with it at all. And what about the table here? Okay. Did, did it uh, fold up and down? Yes. Yeah. There you go. Gives you more room. <laughs> well, I can really feel that cool air from the mini split. Uh, <laughs> yeah, which is right here. I can really feel that. It feels real nice. Yeah, <laughs> it feels real nice. Um, and then, uh, boy, I see you've got some really nice cabinets here, and I'm assuming you built those as well. The, these are all custom cabinets. I built them all with the. Um, I forget the name. What they call that system? Pocket, 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 uh, yeah, pocket screws. So it's the simple. It's all I use poplar for all the framing and just birch plywood for the other parts. So I've got all uh, soft close hinges on everything. And then I've got the uh, Victron. Oh yeah. Solar controller. Mm -hmm. That's the one 150 70. Okay. And then over here I have my uh, 2000 watt 2200 watt inverter. Okay. And cut off switches and uh, do it yourself 280 amp hour lithium battery. Okay. Okay. And I've got monitoring systems. I can use Bluetooth. And now, did you make your battery out of individual cells? Yeah, there's four four individual okay. cells. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the, a lot of folks are doing that. In fact, that's what we have in ours. We used uh, eight cells and made a 24 volt battery. And, and this is just your standard uh, RV sure. panel there. All right. So I've got plenty of 12. I've got. 110 outlet here for my TV. I got 110 here underneath the table, 110 outside, and then there's 110 in the corner over there okay. also. So I got plenty of outlets. Well, I'll let you get up here and I'll get over here okay. and we can see the kitchen a little bit better from this angle. There we go. <laughs> All right, this uh, countertop is made out of stair treads. If you, uh -huh. go, if you go to a hard lumber uh, store, it's going to cost you a fortune for that oak, but if you just go to Lowe's and buy the stair treads, and then I just ripped up one of them down and glued them together and finished it. It's really inexpensive. Right, and then you still end up with, uh, you know, keep one rounded yep. edge right there. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, i got nice deep drawers, and these are the soft clothes, and I've never had them open. I don't fasten them when I'm on the road. Really? And uh, I've never had one open uh, yet, so <laughs> I've Man. got a cutting board right there give wow. me some extra space to work on wow microwave over here and then back here i have a uh, instant on hot water heater and it's propane it's propane right and the the area above it is covered in aluminum and i've tested it and 
what little bit of time that the thing runs, only when the water's running, there's no issue with the wood heating up or anything else. It's uh, I don't have any issues with it at all. Okay. And uh, right here is a full size shower. Oh, I like the way he did that. Oh wow, that is cool. I really like that. So you can use it, you know, for storage when you're traveling. You hang up your clothes, and then when it's time to take a shower, it's got plenty of room. Mm -hmm. And then I've got a cedar grate that I built, so it's easy on the feet, you know. Yeah. So Let me, let's look at those valves again, the way you did oh, that. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's cool. Just one is used. I did. I don't have a hot and a cold because uh, if I want cold water, I just. Uh, don't have the propane on. Right. You know, cold water comes through. If I want hot water, it's adjusted by the unit itself. I understand. So there's no reason to have both. So, anyways, that's my shower, and this was my high-tech uh, leveling system that I use <laughs> to make sure the trailers. <laughs> it works. <doesn't> it? <laughs> and here's the um, here's the camera for the inside. Yeah. <laughs> now, yeah. on my very virgin trip, my son and friends, we all went down to Big Bend in Texas, and we had. We had phones, we had cameras, and had keys to motorcycles, and that stuff was all over the place. And I only had one place to charge over here. Mm -hmm. uh, this where my lighting is, it's, uh, right, right there. It, I've got the 12 volt cigarette lighter, and this the USB port, and here's all the switches for the lighting and the pump for the water. Yeah. This was just a shell, so I said this is not going to work. I have to do something. So I went ahead and built these drawers, and so I built. Well, it's a double decker kind of affair. Yeah, huh? this, yeah. Is, this is slide back, back and forth. Yeah. And this is a charging port. I, I can plug in six items at one time and wow. charge right here. Awesome. So that's uh, that's what I did for that. Of the jump door there. Yeah. But this, of course, there's your uh, potty. There's the, that's an OG uh, composite. Okay. Oh, is it a, a compost stock? Compost, not composite. Okay. All right. it, it is made out of a composite material, but it yeah. is a compost stock. Yeah, one. gotcha. And I use the, um, the coconut. Stuff. Do you? Yeah. And it works pretty good for oh, you? It works great. Love it. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, so I've got right here is a controller. I have a plug underneath and I can plug in a diesel heater. Mm -hmm. and, and this is the controller for it. I turn the power on and so I can operate it from in, in here. Wow. So where's the diesel heater mounted? Well, I used to, it's in a suitcase. Oh, it's one of those. I've seen those like a, on Vivor and places like yeah, that. Yeah, it's like yeah. a suitcase mm -hmm. and, and it sits outside and then you use like a dryer hose. To, okay. I used to have a, a, an inlet underneath here, but since I put the compost toilet in there, I have not figured out where I'm going to put the... Oh, I see. Because I haven't had to use it yet. Well, I don't think you have to worry about it for a while. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this so, is June, so... <laughs> yeah, so eventually I'll, I'll figure out where I'm going to put another hole in the trailer. I'm sure you'll figure it, it out, yeah. yeah. This is just really nice, John, the way you did this. It's just really, really neat. Unfortunately, I wish we could talk more about it, but uh, I'm trying to beat the lawnmowers oh, yeah. here, and they're following me, you <laughs> know? Yeah, I, I, so, uh, you know, we got to try to talk over them. But anyway, thank you so much for letting us take a look at your creation here. I appreciate it. I really do, and I'm sure our viewers are going to appreciate it as well. I'm sure there's going to be some ideas they can get from this. But anyway, we might have to yell here at the, at the last bit. But uh, this is what I'm about ready to say. I'm going to say this is Bill and John with I Ride Tiny House Adventures. And you know what I'm going to say. We're not camping. We're living. Absolutely. All right. Thank you so much, John. All right. You're welcome.